What's going on YouTube? What's up my NBA 2K fans? It's your man. Back with another video, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are back on my NBA with my Boston Celtics. You know we also have a my NBA with my Seattle Sonics. You know we have a my career, guys. So we have those three series running on this channel. If you're new to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. Let's get it. My boss is such as going up against the Detroit Pistons. And we are on Welcome the road. Everyone. Let's Thanks do it. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. With Doris Burr, Greg Anthony, and Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Zero, one, one, and one. They're on special two. Special guest at the broadcast table for this one, the celebrated Sean Sharani. Hey, Shams, thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's a pleasure to have you here. Kevin, thanks so much. Always fun to hang out with you and all your crew and talk basketball. All right, I've told Doris and Greg and David, just buckle up because we are going to be on a great ride with you. And a look now at the Boston Celtics' upcoming schedule. On oh, Monday, we got to go to the Bucks. We got the Pacers, Hornets, and Hornets and again. Bucks. Wow. And then on Wednesday, Two of them on the road with the Hornets. Starting in Indiana, going up so we got a, a three-game road trip. Might be more than that, but those are the next three games we got on the road after this game. Well, after the other home game. <clears throat> and now the opening lineup for Boston. The small and power forwards, the star pair of Brown All right, here we go. Joe Mazzula, sixth season with Boston. Is white, and it's Przingis, and at this center they got a D-plus court advantage. Wow. The backcourt pair will be Cunningham and Ivy. Thompson and Harris are their forwards, and it's Duran in at the five down low. So Shams, our NBA champion, Boston Celtics, last year. All right, let's start out with good defense, guys. That's what it's all about. Could this be a dynasty in the making? They have all the necessary ingredients when you think about their top players. Jason Tatum, You're trying to work Jaylen the pick and Brown. roll. This is a group that's locked in for the long term. They have Christos Porzingis, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Al Horford returning. This is a team that has potential to win for the next three to five years. And that starts with having your key players and your top players locked in. When you think about the teams with dynasty potential in today's NBA, the Celtics have to be the Ooh, top Brown player. starts it out, baby. Jalen Brown's advantages is the lift he gets off the floor. Just a tremendous athlete. Thompson finds Ivy. Nice ball movement by Detroit. And the foul on Drew Holiday. Wow, what happened right there? First foul. First personal foul. First team foul. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Pass to Ivy. Six on the shot clock. Here's Cunningham. And the shot goes down. The Good play. Good play. Reported on so many big trades that did happen. And guys, just to let you know, I am working on the slider set, guys. It takes a little longer with 2K. I always wait until things are 100% confirmed, but listen, there's always a trade or two that's viewed as done, but just does not happen, whether it sours, whether something falls apart. There's always one deal or two that falls apart at the trade deadline or in the offseason. I got him, I got him, I got him. I as best I can and make sure that when I report, it is confirmed. Now, Cunningham. After the good job, White. Good job, good D, White. And it's sent back by White. Oh, good rebound. Come on, guys. Keep pushing. Let's go. So for the Pistons, their last game a loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Around the pass to White. Let's give it to the superstar. Clear him out. Clear out, baby. Where to go with it. Good for the ooh, ooh, ooh. Way Where did muss up that shot? Tatum? When you look at the NBA, Sean, any changes you'd like to see. To me, it's having players stay healthy, right? I would love to have a rule that players just great play face scans the right there. Players are there playing the most meaningful moments of regular season games and allowing players to have freedom defensively. And Beautiful you scoreboard. Can find plenty of other ways to discourage players, but to allow players to really be there in the big moments to defend at a high level. And I would just love to have a healthy serum that we can spread around the league and keep these guys in I think here at the table, we are, we're all nodding our heads, looking up and down. We all agree completely with what you're saying. Here's Cunningham. 
Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Back to Cunningham. Holiday with the point. Good defense. Good defense. Holiday, Holiday at his absolute best. Send it back through. Here's White into the lane. Beautiful. Down the Beautiful. Scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. They're trying to penetrate. Good defense. Cunningham really had an off game against the Cavaliers. Never got into his rhythm. <clears throat> Crash, crash. Detroit, no Let's good go. that time either. The Celtics have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And it's in there. Brown's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Now, here's Stewart. Still yet to score. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Wow. From downtown. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Ivy against White. Outside Tatum. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And one, baby. Let's get it. It can't stop you. It can't stop you, boy. Tremendous focus from Jason Tatum. So good at walling off defenders and finishing plays. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the night here. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Thompson, he's checked in for Jalen Duran. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Jaden Ivey. And it's Malik Beasley in for Cade Cunningham. And then for Boston. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Pazingas. Horford comes in for White. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. Now, here's Thompson. Outside Harris. Outside Hardaway. There's the three. And Boston with the rebound. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game in. They didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense. In bang, 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 bang. On the road, and they simply did not bring it. You expect Tatum to be around that 40% mark. He's very reliable from three. And it goes down two points. Harris has got five. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Pass to Cornette. Back to Tatum. And so the first quarter is in the books. Austin on top. They lead by five. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Oh, man. How about the mid-range jumper from these guys? It's on tonight. A huge part of their offense so far. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight. Really putting the work in down low. We've got Isaiah Stewart, Cade Cunningham out there with Hardaway. Then it's Thompson, and it's Reed in at the five. Oh, we tried Detroit to get it inside. the second one. Accepted. Playing good defense, though. Here's Springer. The kick out to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Jacks up a three. Ah, Money. And Money. And you look at the way the league is moving now, Shams. Are there less big trades than when you started or more? Perhaps a little bit less, but listen, the league is trying to keep parity in this league and allow teams to be able to keep their homegrown stars. There's always going to be plenty of interest, and that level of interest, not only from players from competing teams, 
but fans' interest, it's never been higher. And there's never any hesitancy, right? If a team feels they can get better, for whatever reason and however they do it, I don't think there's any hesitancy to pull in the trigger. Particularly when you're on the ground. fantastic defense. Competing, whether it's competing for a playoffs, competing for a title, if you can make one move that takes you from point A to point B, teams and general managers want to do it. Well said. And the Celtics with possession here. After Tim Hardaway missed from long range. Here's Springer. And that one hits back iron. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Reed finds Cunningham on the wing, Thompson. And the league continuing jobs to tweak the rules around replay review. But uh, would you set a time limit to maybe tweak it a little bit? Have to, right? Especially some of these games and the way they're ending. It's something to try if you can't find a cause to really overturn in a minute or two. Let's keep this game moving. I think we all love a free-flowing game. I agree. Here's Pritchard following the bucket by the Pistons. Here's Springer, still without a basket. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Springer's got the lead up to eight now for Boston. And J.B. Bickerstaff is called a timeout. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. A different look here for Detroit. Duran, he's checked in for Reed, and it's Beasley in for Asar Thompson. So Boston going with almost an entire Premier new week. Here are the Pistons with the ball. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. Beasley against White. Good job on the clear out, White. Good D, good D. Oh, poor Zing has almost got a block. Good help defense. Big time strong move by Beasley against excellent defense. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Tatum down low. Stewart on him. Holiday. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Holiday's got his first two points of the night. What a smooth looking opportunity. Holiday in rhythm right there. Beasley into the lane. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first foul. For the Pistons, Tobias Harris has checked in for Stewart. Asar Thompson comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Ivy subbed in for Beasley. And the Pistons with possession here. Trailing here by eight. And Duran slams it in. We're going to try to make it this, this run before halftime. Where his teammates are on the floor. Porzingis with a screen on Harris. Here's Tatum. Duran pulls it in. Well, she's up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Joms, I am so sorry our time has run out. It has been great having you here with us. We appreciate your time Good so defense. much. We hope we do it again soon. Thanks, Kevin. Anytime, that was a violation. Out of bounds. Okay, he didn't touch it. to you and talk hoops with you any time of the day. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much again. KDB, hey, wasn't that terrific talking to Shams? He is as plugged into everything around the NBA as anyone you could hope to meet. A guy who's really in the know, and as somebody who prides themselves on doing research, boy, you have got to respect the legwork and the dedication he brings to the table. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Kevin, thank you. Tobias Harris, over the course of his career, has played a lot at both forward positions. He says, I'm comfortable playing both of them. I'm not big on the position thing. I'm versatile. Kevin is just a basketball player and a very, very good player. I would agree, David. I know you like him. We like him as well. Money. Money. Thank you very much. When you allow Jason Tatum to build momentum offensively, it can be a scary night. Here's Thompson driving inside. Wow. And it's Thompson with the jam. <clears throat> and giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Tatum, and again it's Money. Boston converting. Let's go. 
Now that mid-range jumper is so on point. Jason Tatum is Tatum's going to roast these boys. Here's Cunningham. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. Look at Detroit. It's been a painful start for them, 0-2. I know the season's young, but they're probably feeling a little desperate for that first win. Yeah, if you include the offseason, it's been months, months, Shaq, since this team's won a game. Not a great feeling. And now, guys, it's time to talk about that challenging first half for the Pistons. Where's the intensity at the defensive end? They need to get a hand up and contest more shots. Coach needs to encourage them to be better moving forward, just like I do with you guys. Uh, I'd better put my feet up. It's getting deep in here. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. Play through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Celtics leading by eight. And Greg, for longtime Pistons fans, that bad boys era was so special. I mean, Detroit's a tough, hard-working town, and those teams did have great talent led by Isaiah Thomas, but it was their physical, intimidating style of play that made them the bad boys. On the court right now for the Celtics, White in its shooting guard with Brown playing small forward. The post pair, Tatum and Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the one. Here's Durant. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Five to shoot. Ivy kicks to Thompson. A rebound by the Celtics. Outside Tatum. Durin against Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Point guard with hops. Even though he's a little bit older, Holiday showing he can still throw it down. And a wide open look for Cunningham. Offline with his three. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. The 12 point lead. The best team in basketball, game. baby. Shot from 12. And again, it's Boston converting. Oh, another huge night for Tatum. One of the top scorers in the NBA. Jason beats you in timeout. so many different ways. And timeout Pardon. call by J.B. Bakerstaff. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with this team. Here's a look at some stats for Drew Holiday. He had a strong showing last season. He was around 12 points a game, five assists, and five rebounds. And what an impact he makes for them on that offensive end. Right. He can do a little bit of everything for this team, and it shows when you look at the scoreboard. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. A 
on the wing, Harris. He's covered by Brown. Fires top of the key. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Tobias Harris. For Boston, they've gone three of three from the field since halftime. Holiday against Cunningham. And Holiday kicks to White. Back to Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Brown outside. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Money. <laughs> Brown's got his third basket of the night right there. For years, it seemed like the league was going to go small. I can see the release on these players pretty good. Size is back in fashion. Yeah, I mean, look at the MVP award, right? Centers and Jokic and MVP winning. What? How did he make that lucky honest, crap? You know, I wouldn't consider him small. And just overall around the NBA, it feels like bigger teams are having more success. Austin making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And what strikes me about Cade Cunningham is he's still growing. He's still capable of doing more on the floor. And he has the work ethic and attitude to make those improvements and become a real factor on the floor. Now here's Tatum. 21 points in the game. Oh, Tatum won't be denied. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Harris passes to Cunningham. Turin with the screen on Holiday. Bounce pass from Cunningham. Oh, good play. Good play by Detroit. Slams it in. Just a fantastic decision maker. Cunningham giving it up in that two-man set. One forty-nine left to play here in the third. Here's Tatum. Up against it inside. Tatum fights through. Hatchets his way to the rack. And that Tatum is insane, man. He's insane in this game. And now we've got some insane in the membrane. Oh, look at the defense. Let's go. Obviously, the Pistons in the midst of a long rebuild. Two seasons in a row at the bottom of the league standings. Uh, Porzingis takes the coast to coast. Proud franchise's history. That counts the record-setting 28-game losing streak that they had. It's pretty clear that this could be a long road back to redemption. Good is the operative word. This could be indeed. David, thank you. And smart pick and roll play by Ivy. He saw a chance to open things up for a teammate and took it. Tatum against Thompson. The kick out to Holiday. Tatum passes to Brown. Over Ivy. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Brown's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, Jalen Brown working in that mid-range area. This guy knows it's got to be a part of your game. For three, Harris hits the three-point bomb. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Thompson against Tatum. Puts one up from 19, and it's Boston with another. And that's set. Gotta ride him, baby. Gotta ride him while he's hot. With the mid range. Holiday against Cunningham. Ooh, look at Holiday, boy. Dinning him up. Got it off in time. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Boston. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. It's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And we reach the fourth quarter. And Let's get this game over with. Already out of hand. The guard pair for will be Cunningham and Beasley. Isaiah Stewart out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Reed in at the five. That's the group for Detroit right now. 
Kicks it out to Beasley. Drills it from outside. Something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Tatum with it. Tatum downhill. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Just now for a three-point play. Ooh, baby. Take King over, Cunningham. take over, Tatum. Take over, Tatum. Here to take a look at some hustle stats for Boston. A high-effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. Doris, some great shooters on this Boston team, but at times, don't you think they settle from the perimeter? Well, Kevin, obviously, this is a coaching staff that puts a heavy emphasis on three-point shooting. They led the league in makes. They led the league in attempts. But obviously, your two best players, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, with their size and athleticism and driving ability, you want to try to find the right balance. They do a great job of that. And here is Tatum after Malik Beasley made that last three-pointer. Over Stewart. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Tatum's got 15 points here in the second half. And timeout call by J.B. Bakerstaff. He has decided it's the right time to talk. Drew Holiday has checked in for the Celtics. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Pass to Tatum. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. Outside, Horford launches a three. Rebounded by Hardaway. Pistons trail by 12. Out to the wing. Here's Stewart. Rebounded by Tatum. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's Holiday. Reed covering. Outside Tatum, driving in. Tatum blasting through them on that drive. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. And J.B. Bickerstaff has called a timeout. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Jalen Duran, he's checked in for Paul Reed. Tobias Harris comes in for Isaiah Stewart. Thompson, he's checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Jaden Ivey in for Beasley. Cunningham passes to Duran. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And it's easy to see why so many are so high on Cunningham, a talented guard who can do a little bit of everything. And the first one at the line is good. And the way the Celtics can attack teams doors with their five out set, it's impossible to fully defend. At every single position and guys who balance that shooting with an ability to get off the dribble drive, this is as and so Cunningham nails both of them. Recent times have certainly been tough in Detroit. Great 14 wins last season. A franchise record low. And Kevin, if you look, Detroit's last five seasons, 23 wins is the most they've had. So their fan base hung Try to give me some pressure. In the motor <clears throat> Harris dishes to Cunningham. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. <clears throat> Just a special offensive talent. We don't see guys like Cunningham come through the league that often. 
Team Bob. At the line for your Pistons, Cunningham K. Looks good from Cunningham. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbound. From 12 feet out, the rebound by the Celtics. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left in the fourth. Shot clock at five. And Cornette gets it to go. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Here's Cunningham, and then Cunningham with the dunk. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And some changes here for the Celtics. Zinkis is checked in for Luke Cornett. Brown comes in for Al Horford. And Derek White subbed in for Pritchard. Now here's Tatum. Over Thompson. Tatum no good. Pressured that shot by getting the hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling. And that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Here's Cunningham. Pass to Ivy. Shoots over Brown. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Ivy. Two. That'll be a five-second call. On the wing, Thompson. Porzingis with the rebound. For Boston, they've gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. A level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a nine-point ball game. Here. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Cunningham. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Defensive foul. Drew Holiday. Second personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for your Pistons. Cunningham. That's good from Cunningham. Cunningham. They get called for the five second violation. Here's Ivy. Shoots over White. Good! And now they trail by just four. Big time buckets is what everyone wants to see from Ivy. He has to attack without hesitation in those situations. Now here's Tatum. Brown. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Now if you're going to be a franchise guy, you've got to want the ball in these clutch moments. Jalen Brown. Brown, no good on the free throw. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. On the wing, Harris. It's tipped and stolen by White. Oh, and here comes Porzingis all alone. And that's an intentional foul. Second personal foul. Team four. At the line for the Celtics. Brown. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. Yeah. 
And no good on the I cannot three. shoot with Brown for some three. reason. His free throws. In the corner, Ivy with it. Off target with his three. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Celtics. Tatum. Jason. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. Guys, what do you think? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Celtics picking up the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, man, we here. We here. We here. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. Hit that like button on your way out. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jalen. A long season. What do you guys need to do to keep it rolling? Just keep finding consistent rhythm with each other. You know, keep playing the game the right way, executing the game plan, and just do your job. It'll really be fun. You all did the job tonight, man. Congrats again on the win. Back to you. David Alder, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. And as we leave you, let's take a look at our player of the game, Jason Tatum.